Both of these patients of mine were rehabbing from a back injury, but when they used deadlifts was completely different. Christy had back pain when deadlifting and she was told she had a bulging disc. Courtney also had back pain when deadlifting from the ground and again, her scans showed a bulging disc as well. You must understand though that there is no one size fits all approach to fixing an injury. A proper evaluation in an individualized rehab plan is key. For example, both of these patients had pain that increased with flexion postures, where rounding their back and pulling up on the stool recreated their symptoms. However, with a load tolerance test I learned from Dr. Stuart McGill, Courtney had pain that could be recreated with lifting the weight, whereas Christy did not have any pain. Therefore, Christy's injury could be classified as a flexion intolerance, whereas Courtney had a flexion and load intolerance. This is why I could implement barbell deadlifts day one with Christy while promoting a neutral spinal posture, whereas Courtney couldn't even perform a lightly loaded RDL without recreation of her pain. In this case, we had to start by just relearning how to move into a bodyweight hinge to pick something very light off the floor without sparking any pain. And then when we did start deadlifts again, it was from an elevated position to limit the flexion torques she was slowly building tolerance to over the next following weeks. Eventually, we were able to progressively reload and take her deadlift down to the ground. So when someone asks, are deadlifts great for low back pain rehab? The answer is usually yes, but when they are implemented is always, it depends. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching so caught up in their egos, these people have lost.